but defensive line coach Steve Kafusi, Coach, what is the goal for a D-line in the game? We see all the defenders out there, but your defensive linemen, what's their goal? Uh, it's real easy. It's about stopping the run and uh, controlling the line of scrimmage up front. Uh, we want to be able to uh, put, put the offense situation where they pass the ball and uh, you know, give them a little bit of a long field to go. So it's all about stopping the run up front for us. We're talking to Ethan, and last year he started out at left end, moved to nose tackle. Looks like he's going to play right end now. He's just one of the most versatile guys you got. Yeah, very happy we have uh, Ethan with us. Uh, you know, he knows both positions. So if we ever had to get in a bind like we did his freshman year, uh, you know, last season, we had two nose guards go down. You know, he, he uh, it was kind of a natural thing just to move him because he's, he plays both positions. So we have a few guys. We cross-train them uh, to make sure that they uh, – they know both positions. How much different is the left end and right end positions? Uh, there's no difference. We play left and right, and uh, and all the all the kids know both positions. They can play left or right, as we practice them on, on both of those positions. You lost a few guys to injuries last year, so you come into fall camp now, and you've got a dozen guys to work with. Just talk about that. Uh, you know, I tell everybody it's probably the best depth I've had uh, since I've been here. This is my tenth season going in, and so. Uh, yeah, you know, you feel like your back's to the wall every year, and and uh, whatever you got, that's who you go with. So uh, you know, I think the level of uh, play, you know, should stay the same, same level, just because of the rotation that we'll have those kids go in on. So I'm excited about those guys. We've seen Graham get a lot of work with the ones, and you know, outside of Ethan and Romney, you're really looking for that third guy. What do you look for in a starter? Well, obviously consistency, and just getting the, the job done, and. Uh, you know, I got to be able to trust them, and they know that. The coach got to be able to look and the sideline and who's going in next. I got to be able to feel that trust and know that he has shown uh, to all of us and myself uh, in the coaching staff that you know we can trust him because he works so hard doing practices to prove himself. So uh, it's nice to have lots of uh, guys out there that are really competing against each other for those starting position. And hey, in my eyes, you know, we have six guys that start, you know, and so we were going to rotate those guys. And I tell them they're in control of how many plays they play by their efforts. So that's the way it works. Looks like we'll see some nickelback defense this year. How's that going to affect the defensive line? What changes does that make? Well, we're going to try to put our best pass rushers out on the field. And so I got to find uh, what would be three, four guys. Uh, you know, they're competing every day. They know they want to be, you know, they want to be in there when third and long and situations and pass rush. So we got a good competition going there. You have Band of Brothers on your shirt. It's on the front of the helmets now this year. And I've seen even in drills, a guy go off sides. They do up downs. Just how important is it for this team to be a unit? Uh, very important, as we all know, in any uh, sports that you're playing or whatever you're doing in life. Uh, it's a team sport. So we're all together in this. And uh, you know they need to learn to give of themselves for others. And uh, it's all about the teammates, not about yourself. It's all about what can you do for the next guy next to you or your teammates. So. Yeah, a lot of uh, bonding activities and that uh, we do and just to bring the team together. And lastly, we were talking a few days ago about your daughter, Alexis. Just give us an update about how she's doing. You know, she's doing really well. Uh, I know she's up at the Huntsman uh, Cancer Institute today. Uh, I think they're doing some tests, but uh, it's been nice to get, go through those uh, six chemo treatments. Um, she's had a great summer. Her hair is growing back a little bit. so. You know, the last scan that we had, there's there's no uh, cancer activity, so it's a miracle. And, uh, you know, just thankful there's so many uh, people that pray on her behalf and uh, support the family. And and so she's a, she's a stubborn little thing, so that really helped her get through, and she misses playing basketball. So she's looking forward to, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, participating this year, uh, you know, in the season of basketball. So I'm anxious to hear today to see what's going on some of the tests they did. Okay. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it.